Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make meatball and pasta. I know lots of you have requested me to make pasta, so I decided that today is the day to make pasta. But I want to make it heart healthy. So instead of using red meat, I'm going to use chicken, chicken meat. So for my heart healthy uh, dish, here I have a pound and a half of white meat, chicken breast, ground up chicken breast. And since it's heart healthy, I'm not using white pasta. This is multi-grain pasta. So here I have two cups of multi-grain pasta and chopped cilantro. Here I have one medium onion blended. And this dish is a mixture of east and west. So I'm going to, for my meatballs, chicken balls, I'm going to use Indian spices. So here I have a teaspoon of ground up ginger, half a teaspoon of my garam masala, homemade garam masala, one teaspoon of chopped garlic, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of chili pepper or cayenne pepper. And this is a mixture of um, roasted garbanzo beans, chickpea beans. The, here I have three tablespoons of chickpeas, roasted chickpeas, and to which I add, I added one teaspoon of poppy seeds. Next step, I'm going to put in everything in here and mix it. The reason I used uh, chickpeas, roasted chickpeas, was to bind this mixture. I'm not using breadcrumbs. Next step is to make them into golf ball sizes, like so. And then we are going to put it in the sauce and let it cook for about 15-20 minutes. And they'll be done. So, here I have a saucepan. I have just coated the bottom with extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to lower the heat and gently put So the meatballs are, the chicken balls are browned and I think I have too much oil in the pan so I'm going to take it out. So I took, a, took out the extra oil and I browned the meatballs and now I'm going to add the sauce to it. Bring it to a boil, a high boil and then cover the pan and cook it for 20 minutes on medium to low heat. So here the water is boiling and I'm going to add the pasta in it and you have to season it really well. Put a lot of salt in it. And I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt, I mean oil in it so the pasta won't stick. And since this is not white pasta, it's going to cook a little bit, it will take a little bit longer to cook. So I'm going to boil it on medium heat for 10 minutes. Pasta is done and I have drained it. It has been 20 minutes. Uh, chicken balls are done and pasta is done. So now I'm going to add to it. Add the pasta to the dish and gently fold it in and let the pasta soak in all the sauce and all the juices from chicken balls and believe me it's gonna be a yummy dish it's a blend of East and West with Indian spices Pasta with Indian spices. I'm sure you have never heard of it. Well, there's first time for everything. And now I'm going to turn off the heat and the cheese will melt because the pasta and the sauce is so hot. And that's it. 
pasta dish is done. So here's the final product. Indian chicken with pasta, heart healthy, yet delicious. Let me try it. Mmm, it is just amazing. It has just the right amount of Indian spices. Not, it's not overpowering it and with tomato sauce it's cooked and it's just delicious to die for. So please do try my dish, mixture of east and west. And thank you for watching my videos. See you next time. Bye.